The motto is a song by Canadian recording artist Drake. The song features Lil Wayne and is a digital iTunes store bonus track from Drake's second studio album, Take Care. The motto premiered on Los Angeles Power 106 on October 31, 2011. Drake released the song on his OVO blog a day later. It was first played on Rhythmic Top 40 radio stations on November 29, 2011 as the album's fourth single. The track was a commercial success in the U.S., having sold over 3 million copies there. It peaked atop both the U.S. Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs and U.S. Rap Songs charts, and was ranked 20 on the Billboard Hot 100 year-end chart. The motto was nominated for Best Rap Song at the 55th Grammy Awards. The song is one of the few songs to rank within the top 20 in the year-end chart, but never cracked the top 10, due to peaking at number 14. The song is well known for name-dropping the Hispanic Latino band Aventura. Music Video The music video was released on YouTube on February 10, 2012 with the audio is official remix of the song featuring Lil Wayne and Tigger. At the intro, mother of Mac Dre, the rapper who died in a Kansas City shooting in 2004, Wanda Salvato said as long as I'm here, you'll be here to tribute to her son. Then the video shows Drake was driving around in Bay Area, standing at the harbor and performing at the concert. Lil Wayne part shows that he was standing next to a red car under Golden Gate Bridge at night. Tigger's part shows that Tigger was standing on a Ferrari car and performing at the concert, wearing a Dodgers jersey during his verse. Sometimes there is Drake Blair in the chorus part. The video featuring cameos from E-40 and Mr. F.A.B. as well. The video was directed by Lamar Taylor and Hailey Allen. Critical reception, the song received universal acclaim from music critics and Drake's verse was also praised by critics. However, the use of the motto YOLO received mixed reviews from music critics, who said that this motto can negatively affect people in the future. They said that because many rappers died in that time due to their partying lifestyle. The song received a nomination at the 2013 Grammy Awards. Remixes and Freestyles, Drake Featuring Lil Wayne and Tigger, YG, Nipsey Hussle and Snoop Dogg, Nelly, Jeremy, Mario, Tiny Temper Christmas Freestyle, Fuck You Me, 100 Kyla, Young Jeezy and Freddie Gibbs, Whale and Meek Mill, Wiz Khalifa, Juicy J, Burner, McFayu, Alpha One, Sneezy West. Chart Performance The song debuted at number 18 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart with first week sales of 124,000. In its 22nd week, it ascended to number 14. On the week of February 18, 2012, the motto reached number one on the U.S. rap chart making it his 12th number one on the chart and extending his lead as the artist with the most number one hits since the chart began. The song has sold 3,113,000 copies in the U.S. as of April 2013. Cultural Impact The song uses the phrase YOLO, an acronym for You Only Live Once. The phrase can be seen in youth culture, for example a high school prank in Chicago, Illinois, involved high school students chanting YOLO. Some people have graffitied YOLO on walls. It has become a popular Twitter hashtag. Some youth have said that it is their motto, and actor Zac Efron got a tattoo with the acronym. People took that phrase and used it until it was meaningless, and using it just to use it rather than thinking about what it means. Mindless zombies walking around with a limp and a hunch. Saying stuff like, a euro euro you only live once, some youth, however, have taken action against the YOLO mindset. Hip-hop artist Joey Bada released a song entitled Death of YOLO on his album Summer Nights. The song uses nearly dying in a car accident, a result of the YOLO lifestyle, as a metaphor for living making poor decisions. The hip-hop magazine Da South reported that the rapper Lecrae has deconstructed the motto YOLO in his answer song No Regrets. The Washington Post describes YOLO as the newest acronym you'll love to hate. The Huffington Post says, YOLO is dumb. The phrase you only live once is commonly attributed to Mae West, but variations of the phrase have been in use for over 100 years including As Far Back As One Lives But Once in the World by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe in the play Clavigo in 1774, 
and as the title of a waltz man liebt nur einmal. By Johann Strauss II in 1855. Charts and Certifications. Release History. See also, List of Number 1 R&B Hip Hop Songs of 2012, List of Billboard Hot Rap Songs Number 1 Hits of the 2010s Number 2012. References <laughs>